we should be okay. Actually, I'm going to go out this doorway. <laughs> just because those two, other two there to the right, they look quite close. So the gap getting between both of them right there might be quite difficult. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Last of Us Remastered on PS4. The hospital's just over there, that's where the fireflies are. We're looking to meet with Ellie. So we're going to go down these stairs and take Ellie across to the fireflies. Hopefully they will actually be there this time, because we still have yet to find any fireflies. I know you mean well, but there's no halfway with this. Once we're done, we'll go wherever you want, okay? Well, I ain't leaving without you. So let's go wrap this up. Yeah, so it looks like Joel and Ellie really do want to spend the rest of their time together, of course, because they've all they've got now. She's only got him and Joel's only got her, really, apart from Joel's brother as well. Ellie, I think I found another one of them comics you've been reading. All right. Comics, woo! Okay, we've got some alcohol on the ground there, probably off some dead hobo. Um, some weapon parts. Looks like we're going to head through this. Is this like a checkpoint? What is this place? Like a bus stop or something? Yeah, it is. It's a bus terminal. It's a bus outside. Well, this place takes me back. How so? It was right after everything went down. I ended up in a triage just like this. And everywhere you look, you just saw families torn apart. The whole damn world seemed to have turned upside down in a blink. Was that after you lost Sarah? Yes, it was. I can't imagine losing someone you love like that. Losing everything that you know. I'm sorry, Joel. That's okay, Ellie. It looks like Ellie doesn't know. She knows bits and pieces about Joel's past there, about Sarah, because he's willing to speak to her about her a bit more now. But she asked a the question there, was that after Sarah died? And if, like everything happened after Sarah died, because she died within like the last, uh, the first hour of the whole disease spreading. So I think we're heading towards this side of the checkpoint. Where's the hospital? I think the hospital's over that side, but it's not accessible by going like the direct route. Hang on, hang on. We've got a, um, a workbench here. We've also got an arrow on the table, some weapon parts, and a map. What's on the map? Salt Lake, quarter zone, quarantine zone even. It's a map. So we're at the bus station right there. Is the hospital on the route? Yeah, it's there at the top right. Okay, so that's not really any use to me. <laughs> Might be used to Joel, but not, not really much to me. Here we go. Okay, so we actually just picked up a toolkit then as well inside one of those tents. So we can actually upgrade the power of the um, hunting rifle, which is going to be really good. We can make the scope zoom in more. May as well, why not get that? Got plenty of parts to use. I'm still going to stay away from any reload speed and stuff like that. Could do with maybe adding more range to that, but we need another set of tools. I think I might have missed a set of, two, set, set of tools throughout the game at some point. Let's just put some recoil on, why not? We've got more than enough points to spend. The bow and arrow, we can add more range to it. That's good. And some draw speed. It's really good. We can add more range to the flamethrower. And I think that's pretty much all, really, that we're going to be spending. Maybe some spread on the shorty, just to make them shots count. Some recoil. Is there anything worth putting on? Yeah, armor penetration on the um, El Diablo. Right, we've only got 16 parts left now, so we can't really spend it on anything, really. So we've pretty upgraded to what the max we're probably, probably going to be in this playthrough. Probably not going to get much better than what we are now. Just quickly check my pills. I've got 20. Can't spend it on anything. Hey, Joel. I got something for you. What have you got? Here. Maria showed this to me, and I, uh... 
I stole it. I hope you don't mind. Maria's Tommy's wife, so she stole the photo of Joel and Sarah. <sighs> well, no matter how hard you try, I guess you can't escape your past. <laughs> Thank you. As much as Joel really does not want to relive his past in any way, shape or form, He's still got to like accept that it was his daughter. She's still a part of him, and you can't ever forget her. <laughs> Looks like we're heading down this road into this tunnel. This time it's going to be different. I just know it. What do you mean? They're gonna be there. The fireflies. I'm sure of it. The only firefly we've actually met is uh, Marlene at the very start of the game. The first firefly we met, and also the only one that we probably, I think we've met. I want to jump down here to a safe um, platform. I'm not sure if that was too high and it would hurt me. Before we do actually carry on, I feel like there's something in this corner from what I can remember in my previous playthroughs. It might be just be weapon parts. Okay, we got blades. Oh yeah, we have got weapon parts. Can we craft anything useful? We could craft a smoke bomb, that's it. This place is looking like it's not been touched for a long time. All overgrown and... No human... Oh, fuck. We've got a bloater roaming around. I think I've got one arrow to use as well for any other infected that we might see. So we're okay as well to leave the flashlights on here because the infected don't seem to be bothered too much about flashlights. There's an infected over there to the right. I'm going to creep around this building in the, here in the middle. Oh god, there's a guy right there. So that's... Um, Try and creep past these as much as we can. I think you can stealth take down these guys, but there's not much of a reason to if we can get past them. I don't even know if this is a good idea, what I'm doing right now, to jump over this. That's a clicker. So okay to actually walk in front of that because he won't hear us. But I feel like I made a mistake jumping up here because if I jump down, I'll probably make a noise. Let me try it. Okay, we're fine. Not sure if that's a mechanic in the game where they do actually detect you on like fall noise. So there's clickers coming right at us. As long as we can keep on moving. We're fine. Let's go around the right hand side of this bus. There's a doorway there to the right. We may have to go that way, I'm not too sure. We've got to be careful that there's no way I'm infected. Like hiding behind any vehicles that we walk around. We've got some flamethrower ammo there. Have I got the flamethrower equipped? Um, I haven't, but I'm thinking... I don't know what's better, the shotgun or the flamethrower. I haven't had much experience with the flamethrower. Oh There's so many of them. I know, let's just keep at it. I know you can obviously take down a bunch of them infected with the flamethrower, but... Oh god, there's loads of them in this bit. See, I don't even know if you can sneak past this. I know there's an alternative route you can take if you go around. Actually, you know what? I'm going to man up and just try and sneak past these guys. Because I'm quite sure you can get pretty close to these. If we just move as slow as you possibly can move, like this speed, we should be okay. Actually, I'm going to go out this doorway. <laughs> just because those two, other two there to the right, they look quite close, so... The gap getting between both of them right there might be quite difficult. So we're going to come out here. And just be careful that there's no infected just outside these stairs. Fucking face. What did she say? Something about fucking face. 
Looks like there's something to pick up over there. Maybe some more alcohol. Maybe a rag. I'm not too sure. Oh god, there's loads over there. So, the um, the bloaters... Oh god, there's a guy right there. Okay, so the bloaters are also clickers. But they're just massive clickers, so they can't see. I hate those things. So as long as we're quiet enough, we can stand right in front of them. Before they actually started to detect us. So we're going to sneak through this water. And we're going to get on the far side here. You can go crazy in this section and just take them all on in a massive fight. But um, with the amount of ammunition we've got right now, it's, that's not really going to be a, a wise option to make. Okay, so we've got this guy here. He's he's the one that you can see, but he's also hunched over and like going a bit crazy. So we'll should be able to sneak behind this guy right now. We can go as far as we can on this side now, but there's one clicker right there. So once we get near this clicker, we're probably going to have to... Whoa! Hey! How close that is. So we're going to go as close as we can to this clicker on the left-hand side. And then, when we can get as far as we can, like pretty much now, when we get an open window to drop down off this platform, we're going to drop down. I think that one there at the back on the left now, he doesn't move. So we're going to sneak off this ledge. Okay, so we can sneak on over. I think you've got to boost Ellie up here. And I'm not sure if you can do this stealth. Okay, so we're going to boost Ellie up. She's going to drop this crate off, but I'm sure that crate's going to make some noise. So as soon as it lands, we're going to have to jump on it and get up straight away, as quick as we can. Otherwise, we're going to get found out. So we're going to have to keep an eye on Ellie, and as soon as that lands, jump on it. No, jump on it, not over. Actually, I don't think they're even... That's crazy. That noise did not even bother them. So we got past that section pretty easily there, with stealth. As we know as well that Ellie can't swim. So I think she can take the route across that left hand side. While I swim across. We're good. I don't think they can reach us now. Gonna keep an eye on Ellie, make sure she gets across. What? Watch your step. That water looks pretty deep. Hey, that's what we can do once we're done. What's that? You can teach me how to swim. You got it. I think I need to go in the water here and swim underneath. It's looking like yeah, we're going inside this bus. I think it's a bus. Come out the other end. I'm on the other side. Cool. Alright, hold up. Okay, so we're going to put the ladder over here so she can climb up and get past this bus. So convenient having all these ladders just hanging around. Alright, just stick to the edge. It's shallow over there. We got a gate here. We also got an infected behind it. I'm quite sure we need to take that infected out before we do carry on. There's an ammo on the ground right there. Oh, nice. Got three, three more rounds for this um, revolver. So we're gonna take a shot through the fence here at this um, infected. Okay, he's dead. 
The heads are quite armoured on the on the clickers. They always take two headshots. Because they got that many layers of infection on it. And another jam door. The boost alley up over this. Alright. Move foot. Okay. Come on. Get that door open. What's she doing? Open the door. There's a steel pipe on the ground there. I think you can pick that up as a weapon. No, you can't. It's just um, part of the scenery. We've got some more blades here. Why can't we make anything? What do we need to make stuff then? We need alcohol and bindings, really, before we can start crafting anything useful. It's a workbench there. No use to us. We haven't got enough parts, really, to make anything, anything better. Shift door, let me guess. Yeah. Hey, look. There it is. So we're right outside the hospital now. We're almost there. Just need to get past this little um, water section. There's a ladder up there we can access, but we need to get it down first. So let's um, jump in the water. Just stay put. I'm gonna swim all the way here, go through this doorway. Hopefully, find a section where we can get some air. I think this way. Oh, gonna be dizzy there. I think Joel loses his breath. It would make sense that he does. Is that a body on the ground in the water there? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Just floating. Alright, so we've gone like into some kind of back room here. Hopefully we'll be able to find a way to get up top. Is there anything in this room? This looks empty. So we'll jump up here. There we go. Ellie's favourite toy. You made it. <coughs> I think this may be the last time Ellie and Joel use the pallet to get across any water. So where are we taking her to? I guess just take her to where we've just been on the other side. You know. Okay. Okay, there. I'm on it. Be careful. I got you. I think we're going up here. There's uh, points that Joel can't access without Ellie. There you go. I think she's going to go up them stairs now and drop the ladder down for us. Oh god. Damn ladder broke off the wall. Now what? Uh, I'll figure something out. I think I have to go a different way now. Because it's not high enough. It wasn't um, all the way to the ground. And now it's not high enough to actually climb to the top. So we're going to place it against this wall here. And I think we've got to go back down again. And go the way we, ke we went the first time. But come out a different side. Just so we can access that ladder, and then I think we make a bridge with it. I'm not sure. This water must be freezing as well. Just 
water that's been sitting, sitting here for so long. So I think that we're going this way. There's the, lad there's the ladder right there. Okay, so we're going to go around this edge again. We should be able to grab it and take it to the other side over there. God, all this effort just to get across this bit of water. I'm sure Joel can use the pallet as well. We even just make that jump on his own. He's got to do it the safe way. Health and safety comes in. I'll drop it down there. Let's just jump down, may as well. Grab the ladder. Now let's make a bridge. Oh, I see. Good idea. <laughs> Ellie had no idea what was going on. It's like, why is he going back in the water? What's he doing? <laughs> All makes sense now, doesn't it? All right, so we've crossed this little section now. The hospital is just around the corner. And I think we're going to actually, hopefully, get inside the hospital in the next part. Oh boy. Just let me go ahead, and you follow my lead. Okay, right behind you. All right, so the hospital is right there, just beyond this um, this tunnel. And there's a lot of water here, so we've got to be really careful with Ellie, and it's flowing. So before we do actually try and cross this um. This tunnel across all these these platforms, jumping across these trucks. We're gonna end it here. Alright guys, see you in the next part. Bye.